Hi, this is Rick Hauser from Hauser's Bayfield Cabin. This is the uh, living room of the cabin. As you can see, there's an area here for storing any wine or things that you'd like. It opens and you can put bottles in there if you like. Uh, here's the wood stove and it comes with uh, some kindling to start a fire and the woods out back there, out behind the cabin for you to use uh, for the wood stove. Uh, please, if you're using the fire pit out front, you can just use uh, any scraps of wood anywhere on the property that you may find. Uh, but please don't use the, the wood that's pre-cut for the wood stove. Um, and then here's a whole bookshelf full of, it actually lights up up here, if you can grab the little on-off switch. And I've got kids' books in there about beavers and owls and other kids' books on the top shelf. And then there's other interesting books that you might want to read down there. Uh, and I'm sure you might bring some of your own books to the cabin. Uh, here's a few more brochures. I'm doing a jazz cruise now and then this summer. So if you'd like to go on a jazz cruise this summer, please give me a call. And I'll be happy to set you up with that. Um, here's the speakers over in the living room. They, uh, all that uh, Pandora radio and Sirius satellite radio comes out of these speakers when you flip that toggle switch to the down position in the bedroom. Uh, there's some coasters for you. Um, there's the leather sofa and then the leather footstools for you to be all nice and comfy. And a couple of uh, kind of southwestern motif chairs with a little... Um, kind of a little table to put things on, a gigantic window here looking out towards the road and the lake is across the street. When you take a walk down the street and to the right as you're looking out from the cabin, they'll be uh, past the road where you came in on, about another hundred feet or so, uh, a little milk jug and that's the path that goes down to the beach, which is a public beach. But there's usually never anybody down there, so it's like your own little private beach, and it's right next to the Raspberry River. And if you've got a kayak, you could kayak down the Raspberry River. So there's the old historical Hauser family farm uh, wicker basket that they put apples in. Uh, my grandfather's brother started the farm here, so you might want to go out there and... Uh, do some wine tasting as well as they've got lots of great jams and jellies and um, plants in the springtime that are very hardy compared to plants elsewhere that you could buy such as Home Depot plants. Uh, there's some games down here for you. There's uh, Who Knew as well as Balderdash. You can have fun with that. I have a uh, domino set here somewhere as well inside this place uh, so you can play dominoes. Um, and then over here in the kitchen uh, we still have a couple kitchen cabinets to put on, but they should be on here in early June. Um, and uh, here's a view of the granite counter and the sink, stainless sink. Here, this is the um, disposal, and uh, you would run it water when you want to use it. And the way to turn it on is you put this cover on and it won't come on until the, the cover is on and it's turned in a certain direction. When you want to turn off the disposal, just turn the cover. You can even lift the cover off. And when you leave, just please keep the cover off. I'd hate for the disposal to come on accidentally um, when you're gone and run and run and run. So, uh, and over here uh, we've got a first aid drawer. Uh, which is the second drawer down from the uh, door going out to the driveway there. And lots of dishes, as you can see. Um, different things, bowls and plates and uh, more over here and more over here. So, um, and then I'm including a free popcorn for you here. Uh, for every stay last year, I gave everybody a free bottle of wine. Uh, and then here's some tea. And uh, got the knife set, of course, and paper towels. The vintage stove. Uh, the oven doesn't work on it anymore, but 
That's why I got a convection oven, so if you want to ever bake, most, most, most times you'll be going out to eat, I'm sure. Um, and then here are the burners, obviously, on the stove and the controls. And the only minor glitch in this historical Montgomery Ward stove is that uh, this control here, uh, this burner here, doesn't come on on high, but it comes on on all the other settings other than high. So I thought I'd keep the vintage Montgomery Ward stove because it's just so cool and retro. And uh, so, and then over here is a coffee maker, and I provide complimentary coffee as well as um, the toaster and an ice bucket. Um, so you've got lots of outlets back here to plug things into. Um, there's the phone for inbound calls and outbound 911. And uh, you can use Skype for outbound calls. Um, there's a little uh, electrical outlet here at the end of the island you can plug your laptop into or your, your phone charger. Uh, we've got some bar stools here all along here. More under storage here under the island. And uh, so that's about it. Uh, and I hope you really enjoy your stay. There's a wraparound deck outside, and I'll put that on the next video.